Hey everybody, welcome to the TD show. Probably one of the most interesting shows you will ever see. For reasons I don't myself don't even know yet. Myself don't even know, whatever. Okay, so this week I actually have something to talk about. You know, I usually don't. I usually make up random crap off the top of my head. Which, which I will get to later, so, you know, don't worry. <laughs> but, this week, I have a topic of a conversation. Okay, um, earlier in the season, I had them all. But for Christmas, Faith got me a stuffed llama. I named him Cusco. Now, she did this because I like llamas. I think llamas are cool. I don't know why though. So that's my that's my mission for this week. To understand why I like llamas. You know. So I thought I would do a little research using the Google app on my iPod. Google is amazing. And on your iPod, it's even cooler because it's on your iPod and not on your computer. You know, your iPod really is a computer, but only with music. But you know, your computer has music too. Yeah, just totally went there. Boom. Okay, now I do not want Google to use my current location. Okay, so it's been llama. We're currently searching. Let's see. I mean, I I know this is, this is basically what I know about llamas. They spit and they and they smell. You know, one of the sins of a llama. Um, so that's about all I know about a llama. Let's see, llama llama dot com. So there's a website about llamas. Welcome to Llama.com, where you will find repair and servicing information and parts for popular home electronics. Yeah. Is it Llama or Llama? It looks like Llama. I don't know why you name your website Llama. If it's about, you know. If it's not about Llamas, why would you name your website Llama? So that doesn't make any sense to me. But then again, most things don't. Ooh. That's from Geographic.com. That's always a good website to go do about Llamas. What do you think? Let's see. So. So, the llama is a South American relative of the camel. Uh, now, that, that actually makes sense. Thank you. Okay. Uh, da -da -da -da. Turns out a llama is about as big as a person. Like, if I was standing up, he'd be about as tall as me. So, this, not accurate height race thing, you know. But that's cool, because Cusco is amazing. You make fun of Cusco, then I hurt you. Because Cusco, Cusco is amazing. Llamas graze on grass and, like cows, regurgitate their food and chew it as cud. That's kind of nasty. They... They chomp on such parts for some time before swallowing them for a complete digestion. Llamas can survive by eating many different kinds of plants and they need little water. These attributes make them durable and dependable even in sparse mountain terrain. So, if I was in the desert with a llama or in South America and I needed the water, the llama would say, you know, Taylor, you take the water. Because I don't need it. I don't need it. Just said I don't know. Okay. So, I... Uh, yeah. I really don't... Still don't know why I like llamas. They're cool, I guess, so... Why not? What does it matter? Llamas are cool. Just leave it at that. And... Cusco is cool. So he's my llama. He's my llama buddy. Okay, so, oh, uh, I am, thought I'd eat some yogurt, because yogurt's amazing, you know? Uh, have y'all have seen the commercials for the, um, the yogurt, where it's like, it's all, the, all the different kinds, 
Well, I've got raspberry cheesecake. I found two I like, raspberry cheesecake and red velvet cake. Both of them sound completely nasty when you think about yogurt, but you eat it and you do not think that any longer. So, if you have not eaten either one of those, I highly, highly recommend that you do. They are amazing. Okay. Oh, there was also another commercial that I've seen. Um, it's about it's a it's AT and T commercial, and it's where at the very beginning it shows um, the fifty. It's like it says, "This is the fifty seventh president of the United States," and it starts going back in time to where this guy is on. He's like he's at the subway. You see this girl. He changes his ticket to get on the subway with this girl. Subway with the girl, whatever. Um, I thought it was a really 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 good commercial. I like. I've always liked things that are kind of like. Um, how one decision can change and alter the universe, I, that's totally cool and interesting to me. So that com that commercial would automatically be interesting to me. So. Yeah. Very excited about it. Um. Yeah, I'm excited about a commercial. So. Yeah. Oh, also... Oh, 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 I was really excited when I found this. Entertainment Weekly. It's my my favorite magazine. It's okay, because it's lots of, you know, entertainment things. Who, you know, who'd have thunk it? Entertainment Weekly have entertainment things. I, they put a, their story was this week's story, or last week's. I think it was last week's. Uh, it's about The Empire Strikes Back. My absolute favorite Star Wars movie. With never before seen photos, exclusive book excerpt. Um, it was they're celebrating the 30th anniversary of the Empire Strikes Back, and this big behind the scenes book is coming out in October. It's October, it's October or November? I think it's October. Well, you know, behind the scenes of the Empire Strikes Back, which I cannot wait to get. But I'm very excited, and lots of cool pictures. Let's see, All right. Mmm, look at the pictures. I mean, like, come on. Come on. Look at that. Look at that. I mean, you got C-3PO and R2-D2. I mean, come on. You can't love that. I mean, you can't not love that. Yeah. Is that right? If, it, if it's not, I'm sorry. I mean, this is cool stuff. I mean, Star Wars is cool. Don't deny it. If you deny it, I'll come to the screen and hurt you. I mean... The Empire Strikes Back introduced us to Yoda. Yoda, think about it. He has been a major... He helped shape American culture. Yoda. Think about it. Yoda. Um, so... Yeah. If you don't have this magazine, you should totally go and get it. Subscribe to it, something. Because it's got some awesome stuff in it that you need to see. Yeah. Okay, so, this week's Song of the Week is, what was it, what was it, what was it? It is, come on, iPod. Oh, oh, come on, uh, Something Good Can Work by Two Door Cinema Club. It was a free download on iTunes, I think, last week. It's an awesome song. Usually the free downloads and iTunes are actually really good. You should come and totally check that out. Um, so, go check that song out and you will like it. If you don't, then you've got serious issues. Okay, so, I guess that's all for this week. I will see you next week on another episode of the TD Show. You should all check it out. So, bye! Bye. Bye. I'm a little hopper. Sorry. Bye.